Welcome back to NetTouch Plus. In today's video quick tip, we're going to be taking a look at a database management application for Mac called Querius, so it's pretty nice. Uh, before we do that, if I can get your attention for 30 seconds, uh, if you're familiar with CodeKenya.net, it allows authors to sell scripts and components for a variety of languages. Uh, in the next 24 hours, we're going to be adding CSS, and for you WordPress devs, you're going to like this. We're adding WordPress plugins, premium WordPress plugins that will be selling for anywhere from $20 to $50. So do check that out. If you're not a member as an author yet with Code Canyon, now is the time because people are going to just start making tons of money over the course of this next year as we put huge amounts of energy into it. Okay, so let's take a look at Querius. It's $29. This is not a sponsored screencast. It's just something I came across. Uh, when you're working with uh, PHP and MySQL, the standard thing that's included, especially with MAMP, is something called PHP MyAdmin. So we can go there right now, and it gets the job done, but it's it's pretty sloppy, really, if you think about it. It's just a web app built with uh, PHP, but it's, it's hard to use, it's confusing. There are some alternatives for PC and Mac. We'll be taking a look at Mac today. Uh, the two ones that I know most prominently are called SQL Pro and this one that I just came across with yesterday called Querius. So we're going to take a look at this one. Uh, once you download it, if you want to try it out for 30 days, it's a full download. And if we come into Querius, it, it works really nicely. So you come in here, you just in insert your host. In my case, will be localhost, root, and password. And then your port. This is one thing they don't really help you with if you, if you are new to this and might confuse you. You can check your port and on a Mac it, it'll usually be 8889. So we can set the port like so and connect. And now you're connected to your database. And this is the same thing as going through PHP My Admin. You have access to all of your databases, all of the tables within it. If you want to create a new database, it's as easy as just going plus, insert a new database, test DB, and we can create a new table. We'll just call it tab for table. Here you can create as many as you want. So content, it'll be text, uh, something like that. If we want to set this as a primary key, we can go to ID, uh, null. It, can it be blank? No, it can't. And if we want to change it, we can go to indexes and keys. And so here it wants to know, do you want to save the changes? Yes. And this is one nice thing that it does is it always shows you the SQL query so you you kind of get a, a, a quick glance at the code that you're writing so when you have to do it manually, you can. So we'll click apply and now let's go to indexes and keys. We can create foreign keys, though if you want to create foreign keys, you want to make sure to go to table info and change it to uh, this one right here. Anyhow, let's go back and in this case we're going to make it a primary key and also if we want it to auto increment, let's go ahead and do that. So now if we go back, you can see that we could have just typed in auto increment here. So it's just a matter of how much flexibility you want. And it's really as simple as that. So one nice thing is they separate uh, your column structure from your content, which is pretty normal. You can either click on content right here, or you can do Apple 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 accordingly. So here, if I hit Apple 1, I'll go to content, and we can just do it. This is my content. Save that, and then do another one. And it works really simple. So we can go over to the query window or hit Apple 5. And this allows us to query our database. You simply click on the database you want to query. And we could just do something like select star from tab. Run that where ID equals 1. You have a lot of flexibility here. And the nice thing is uh, it allows you to import and export. You have a lot of operations to clean up your database, check for any errors and things like that. And uh, the nice thing is it just works. So it is $29, uh, but that's really it's equivalent to going out to dinner. So it works well for me. I'm trying this out as well as SQL Pro, and I'd love to hear from you. What do you think of this? Uh, as always, follow NetTouch for more tips and tutorials. My name is Jeffrey Way, and we'll see you again.